Okay, good morning, everyone. As always, excited to be here. Tim said during the songs that we should you know, pay extra close attention to the words. Because sometimes I think we hear the songs and kind of go over them so quickly. We get used to what was said and we have assumptions or we don't really dig in any deeper than what we've known in the past. Hopefully this morning we'll not do that. We'll try to look at things with fresh eyes. And when we do, we're able to see more about the sacred, simple, how deep, how wonderful he is. But before we do that, <coughs> my name is Joe. Hi, Joe. I'll, I'll tell you good morning. Thank you. Appreciate that. One person said hello to me. I'm I, I only prefacing that by saying I, my preaching is so outstanding that my wife is not here today. My oldest son is not here today. My daughter is definitely not here today. And you'll see when you look at the message, uh, probably she had this instinct. She gets nervous when I talk. And then my youngest son is here only because I took him to the gym and made him. So <laughs> before you get too excited and you get your hopes too high, I just wanted to set the uh, table for you. And now let's begin with a little bit of a video this morning. And hopefully it'll get us in the right frame of mind. <coughs> I mean, that song was pretty easy to learn, right? 
right? <laughs> we, I know it's so mesmerizing that we have your attention, but um, there are songs that are easy to remember, things that are easy to learn and remember in life. Other things are more difficult um, to learn. So again, I apologize that tonight, if you're singing that, Don, please do not sing that to Diane tonight. Let's see if we can advance the slides. If we can't, we might have to have an album of fours. No. There's a book called The Four Agreements. Miguel Angel Ruiz, or Don Man, uh, Miguel Ruiz, whatever his preference seems to be, during a particular day. The book is about ways to live, ways to approach your life. It sold over five million copies. It was written back in 1997, and people have gravitated toward it over time to try to give themselves an idea on how to live, how to view things. We're not going to talk about this book today, but we are going to talk about ways God's instruction to us, the way God speaks to us in four particular verses that I love, that he has used with me and continues to use and speaks to me today in a different way than he did yesterday. It's amazing how we can do that. I think you 